Uh, I have a tendency of starting new projects before finishing the previous ones. It's just because I have so many ideas and not enough time, so I just I start things and never finish them and well this is the next one I'm going to start and we'll see how long this is going to take. Hopefully it'll get finished. But it's here I have the this is a book of basic patterns. There's several different type of clothes and the basic pattern and then like here you have instructions on how to change the pattern. Like this dress it's made of a t-shirt pattern and then here it shows how how to modify the pattern to make it make it a dress pattern. So this is very basic design and I'm going to use that as a base because this is going to be something different. I usually don't refer to things I do as art. No, I really prefer saying it's crafts but this piece is probably going to be more art than crafts and the reason is this is going to be a recycling project. So here I have some plastic lids. I've been collecting these for months and the foil parts that go with these are here. These are all metal foil and I'm going to use both of these for a dress and we'll see what what happens. So these are recycled and then the fabric I'm going to use for making the base dress is this. This is an old curtain. Let's see if can find here. I'll show you. It's It's got all these holes so this alone won't go. So I have more recycled materials. There's a piece of towel here and this is from... I got this uh, it was at school when they were emptying the storages. There were some some big flowers that were made of this, this and um, orange towel and they were just... Uh, I, I got those for free and then I have just taken the flowers apart so there's a big piece of this and the idea is that the dress is going to be these two fabrics combined so this goes underneath to give support because this is really thin and won't keep its shape very well so this goes underneath this on top and then the things I'm going to make using these plastics and foil those will be I will be sewing them to the dress and we'll see what what kind of dress that's going to be so the here I have the pattern for the foil parts. The idea is that this is one of the foils. This, this is going to be made of plastic, so it can take getting wet in case that happens. And then just folding these like this and turning it around. This is the outer side and I'm going to put a hole here in a place where it goes through all three layers of the foil. So I was first thinking about glue but then I realized that if I put a hole here so that all three layers are securely attached there's no need for glue. And then I'm going to use that hole to sew, sew all, all of these pieces 
to the dress and I'm not sure how many I have here but I suspect there won't be enough so this project may take some time <laughs> while I collect more of those foils and plastic lids but we'll see yeah uh, and the way way to do the pattern for something like this uh, I'll show you here you can see that it's sort of cutting off as little as possible from this lid so first I drew the drew the triangle into the the shape of the lid and then the triangle in there and then just these parts it just fold along the lines here and use this line to draw a line here and line here and then do the same here and here and here and here and then you get the lines they are visible on this side and then you just cut off those pieces and you get the pattern to use for cutting the foils so that's that's the plan and I'm not sure if this is going to work just the idea is to put a row of these and then the next row sort of two-thirds about this much higher and so that the tip goes in between to two of the row underneath so it's basically like scales and the reason I'm using triangles is that it's the easiest shape to fold the foil neatly and I think it's probably also also the biggest you can make with this because I don't think if it was squares um, yeah, I couldn't get all these flaps attached. If, if there were squares, I wouldn't need to use glue, I think. But here, everything is going to be secured by that one hole. And I'm not quite sure how to attach these. So I'll need to study a bit. I have this book and I'm hoping I haven't read this all through it's just when I need it's a reference book basically when I need something I just see if if I can find it here and I'll need to check what kind of techniques there are in this book for attaching different kind of decorations so Hopefully there's something useful. One thing I have been planning is that I could, if I have beads, right size and enough of them, I could just put a bead here so the thread comes from the back through the hole, through the bead and then back through the hole here. So I wouldn't need to put the thread from the hole so that it's visible here. If I'm using a bead here the thread wouldn't be noticeable so that probably it would be neater that way but I'm going to check that book and see if there's something something usable in there. But yeah that's the that's the basic plan and here I have also the pattern I have made the from this line upwards it's the t-shirt 
and then this part and this here are the additions shown in that book and then this is too long the original it was all, all the way here but I I'm going to make this short because the shorter it is the less less of these I need so we'll see how much of these I needed once I get the basic dress sewn and start making these and putting them in place I'll see how how much of those are needed and then there is the problem of what to do with this shoulder part because putting triangular shapes here is a bit difficult probably so I was thinking that maybe maybe I'll make this narrow and shape it here more of an angle here so it's directly straight line and then straight line here so it goes like this so these this is straight line and this so at least here it would go neatly just put a line there right in the edge so there's not too much of this fabric visible but the straps here maybe I'll need to just leave out these and figure something else silver colored maybe if if I can find, I think I have plastic beads in silver color somewhere. I could see if those will work, but that's really near to the end of this project. The first stage is to make make the basic dress, and then then I'm going to start from the hem going upwards because, well, as these are like scales it's this line underneath and then the next goes on top of that and the next goes on top of that so it'll be easier to sew them in place starting from the hem and then then just at the final stage I need to figure out what to do with the utmost part but yeah so that's the plan and now i'm going to start making the dress from these fabrics first the patterns for the dress are now finished it's that blue line is where i'm going to cut this and this is size m from the book and that's eu size 40 that's my size, but it's also the size of the dressmaker's dummy I've got. So it's sort of the most logical size to make. It's going to be easy to do all the sewing of the triangle pieces while the dress is on the dummy. But I'll also be able to just try this on and see how it will look like although it's definitely nothing <laughs> that's in my style here are the pieces of the dress as you can see it's very simple and it's made even simple simpler by the fact that it's not going to have a lining you know the normal kind of lining i have put these two fabrics, the towel underneath and this is the outside and I finished the edges, the sides and the sh shoulders and the hem with the overlock machine so these will stay together and that towel is 
basically you can think of it as lining but when when I sew these seams it's just going to turn here so the seam allowances will be visible on the inside and probably a little to the outside as well because this is so transparent you can see my fingers there underneath so we'll see how transparent this will be after the foil pieces are in place but yeah so it's it's coming together bit by bit and I'm sort of designing it as I go because I I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the neckline and these edges here. The problem is that whatever goes there is going to show on the outside so I'll need to try to make it extra neat. But that's where we are now. The next stages will be sewing the shoulder seams and side seams and pressing them. I, I'm not quite sure how easy it's going to be press this towel. It's so, it's so stiff. So, well, we'll see how well the seam allowances stay flat once I get to that point. The base dress is now finished. As you can see here, it's a bit transparent, but doesn't matter. The foil pieces will cover cover it quite nicely, so that shouldn't be a problem. And anyway, I'm not going to use this. One of the reasons is that the hidden zipper here, it's in the back, and there's no way I could put this on and close the zipper by myself. So this is just just an experiment and we'll see what happens there here in the neckline and the armholes. Um, wait a second. Okay, now it's open. So this is what I did with this. Just narrow strips here because you can see these from the outside. Although probably not that well in the final piece but anyway that's that's enough it's here and then stitched on the top to keep it keep it underneath so we won't slip to the outside and I really recommend watching Bernadette Banner's video on pressing seams there are some good advice in there and these pressing these was much much easier and the result much neater using the methods shown in that video so that's the end of this video because next I'm going to start making the foil pieces and attaching them here I haven't look at the book yet I'll need to check check that to see how to attach the foil pieces what would be the best way to do that so first I'm going to make a whole lot of those pieces uh, wait a second here is the current stock of those plastic lids and foil lids so that's gonna make quite a few of those foil pieces but probably not enough we'll see once I get 
I'm done and start attaching them to the dress. But as I said, this is all for now.